My name is Billy Yang. I'm a filmmaker, a runner, and a lover of beer. 2020 started off as perhaps my busiest year to date. Filled with work, travel, and ambitions to really make this my most memorable year to date. But then, but then. This is no doubt a strange moment in our history, possibly the strangest. And all of this is compounded by our loss in escapisms and community. No more live sports, no more gathering at races for the foreseeable future. So how do we stay connected? How do we stay motivated? My thoughts turn to David Coggins. Every year I do this challenge where I run four miles every four hours for 48 hours. So, my connection to David Goggins goes back to 2008. I still remember when I first saw this guy on the cover of Runner's World, a tad different than the usual cookie cutter, airbrush model with perfect teeth and smile. You see, this guy was a Navy SEAL, and he was a total badass one at that. Then I read his story, and it was incredible. He was part Rambo, part Energizer Bunny. We're in a moment of history that we haven't faced before with this whole coronavirus. Do you have any thoughts about what's going on right now and how you apply your uh, mentality to this situation right now? This is the absolute perfect time to have a very uh, stay hard mentality. This is what it is. So we can't control what's going on right now, but there's several things that we can control. So the four by four by 48 came up that way. On the surface, four miles, not too terrible. But then you start to break it down four miles every four hours in a span of 48 hours. When you start thinking about the entirety of it, it could seem intimidating and a little complicated. At the end of the day, it comes down to suck it up. You know, you just realize I have a task in front of me and this is what needs to be done. So how do I plan this out? When do I sleep? When do I shower? When do I eat? What do I do with my contact lenses? When do I poop? So many logistical questions. But here's the thing, I won't be alone. I'm going to have friends from all over the world joining me for the ride, and we're gonna get through this thing together. But first, gotta take care of some business. Okay guys, I think it's time we ditched the quarantine hair. Okay, what do you guys think? Not too shabby, right? Anyway, we have a big upcoming 48 hours starting tomorrow, 4 p.m. Tonight's gonna be my last good night of sleep, so let's get to bed. Tomorrow's gonna be a big, big day. We have a big day today. It is a morning officially of the Coggins Challenge. Well, hey, Billy, I'm here right now, brother. Oh, there he is. <laughs> What's going on, man? So, Mr. Goggins, you're talking to about 130 people from all over the world right now, and they're doing this challenge because they wanted a sense of community, but they're also super inspired by you. I will be watching. I'm going to start with you all also. So I guess it's about that time. Get out there and stay hard, man. All right, stay hard, everybody. Good morning, everybody. You're awesome. So here we are. This beautiful, big patch of dirt that's about a mile from my house. It's about the size of a small baseball field. Go round and round for the busy sections and then hit the streets for the night sections. You know flukes. Let's head home. Lap one almost done. One out of 12 done. A little over an hour before my next run. I'm going to make some nachos. Probably not the best pre-run food idea. Be a bad idea. I have to run in less than an hour. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the sound of everyone cheering. 
healthcare workers. Really cold thing that goes on every 8 p.m. here in Hermosa Beach. Okay, run number two done. Almost 9 p.m. Still feel good. It's a group, man. It's a group pulling me through. Uh, the community has been awesome. I think there's a big, amazing world out there, and I think a lot of us that are. Older it's true. One of the unexpected highlights for me was the group. Getting to know everyone, sharing stories, and being in it together. For the first time in quite a while, I really started to feel that sense of community that I missed and I craved so much. Four miles. All right, that was a solid first three sets. I can already feel myself starting to drift, so I'm gonna try to squeeze in some shut eye. 80, 90 minutes, back up, back at it again. Goggins told me in our interview that the sleep deprivation would be the most annoying, as he put it. And while he certainly wasn't wrong, I had to hit the snooze a few times. The evenings were also the most peaceful. Just me, empty roads, and a whole lot of solitude to think. Four miles done. It's about 4.45 in the morning. Yeah, I said number four down. Let's cross it off the list. Running is a simple act, and there can be beauty in that simplicity. Run, fuel, sleep, and repeat. Especially when the reality of life is so complicated. This was an escape for many of us. Even if for 48 hours, I wanted them to forget about the harsh realities of the world that we're living in right now. And as such, I wanted to treat them by bringing on special guests to help lift their spirits. Anything to keep the group motivated and engaged, lap after lap, and I certainly count myself among them. Okay, quarter mile left, lap number seven. It's officially getting hard. All right, number eight done. That is 32 miles. People achieving more than they thought they could. That keeps me going more than anything. Super proud of these guys. Super duper proud of these guys. Double digits, 10, run, 40 miles. 3.30 a.m., oh, this is rough. Got my breakfast burrito, one lap to go. Oh my word, how do we get here? Final lap. Definitely pushing a little bit more. Push, push, push. Smell the barn. Less than a quarter mile left. Who's gonna carry the boats? To all the healthcare providers, my greater running community, to race directors, to my family, to my friends. This one's for you. That was one hell of a suffer fest, but so worth it. We are done, you guys. Lap 12, 48 miles, 12 runs, 48 hours of the David Goggins Challenge. Definitely had to use some beer gravity for that final four miles. And these beautiful people pulled me along. We're done, baby. In the end, the real value I realized in embarking on an event like this, more than overcoming the challenge itself, are the people you share these experiences with. So get creative. Find your own suffer fest, and of course, above all else, find some rad people to embark on the adventure with you. Wait, wait, wait to slum it there. Nice job. Wait, wait to back off a little.